today we're going to be uh, taking a website that's local and we're going to be putting it live, which means uh, buying a domain name, getting some hosting, and doing all such of other things to put it live. How many stages are we looking at, Kun? I thought there were about 12, oh no, 16? 16. 16, 16 stages, stages we're okay. going to go through. So the first one then is search for a domain name. Where do you think we should go? Instant domain search. Instant domain search. Why do, we go, why do we go here? Uh, it's my favorite because they like, give solutions for dot com, dot net. And it's quick as well, isn't it? Yeah. There's many others, but this is this is one we're used to. So we're doing a website. Let's first of all show you the website we're going around. So actually, can can you tell us a bit about it? You made it. Uh, it's a it's a website about Charlie Chaplin. It's selling products about him. Right. Books, DVDs. Has a little bit of a biography, a filmography. So it's it's like a like a web shop. Site. Okay, a bit like affiliate marketing, yeah. Because you yeah. you you click and you go to the the shop, and then from here, you can buy now and go to Amazon. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. All right. So um, yeah, essentially what we need to do is we've built this live on our uh, sorry we've built this on our computers, so it's nice and quick. And now we need to get from here to a website. So let's search for a domain name now. So. What do you think? I thought Charlie Chaplin Shop. Charlie Let's Chaplin that Shop. Available. That's available. Yeah. Um, yeah. That might be a good one. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what we'll do is I'll show you I'll show you something else. We can go to who dot is. All right. And then here we can go to suggestion. Oh, let's give us a bit of feedback there. All right. We can go to suggestions. And then down here we can do Charlie Chaplin, and we can see what's see what's available. We'll get domain suggestions, and then move down. We've got Charlie filmmaker, the Charlie Chaplin. Oh, that's nice. That's not bad, is it? All right, TCC for the people who know it. Uh, Charlie comic, Charlie filmmaker, my Charlie Chaplin, mm -hmm. uh, Charlie comedian. I prefer a dot com. Yeah, I'm a I'm a dot com as well. Um, channel film producer, your hoplink. Not all of them are so great and relevant, <laughs> but nevertheless. So I think we're going to go for this one then, Charlie, um, the, Char the Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. All right, so the Charlie Chaplin, and there we go. All right, so the Charlie Chaplin, and there we go. We've got dot com available. So uh, I've got an account with GoDaddy. Right. I'm not recommending them. It's just that for years I've used them, um, but GoDaddy they tend to be cheap, and the important thing for us is they're quick, uh, and we really want to be able to put this live today. So when you are doing a website, I always advise you to, you know, when you've built it, is buy the domain name first, and mm -hmm. then start all the process of moving it, mm -hmm. and that means you give the domain name time to to, to propagate. Mm. All right. So I'm gonna just gonna log in. Yeah, that. All right. So the Charlie Chaplin will add that, and it's going to moan that I've got six domain names um, ready to expire, and that's because I've got an addiction to buying domain names and not doing anything with them, <laughs> which I'm sure you have as well, listeners. All right. So we've got our details here. So we'll just put in uh, details. Click next. Uh, we're going to get it just for one year. All right, next. So I'm sure there's some people thinking, in a year, I can buy that domain. Mm -hmm. All right, so we just click next. We don't need any of this extra stuff if you're buying from GoDaddy. Um, these ones here, I'm, I don't want to renew right now. We'll uh, look at that another time. So we just want to buy this one domain name. Now, we've got a discount on there because we used instant domain search. Mm. All right. Or alternatively, you can just do a search for GoDaddy promo codes. Mm -hmm. Click here, and then all you have to do is copy. Um, let's have a see renewals. There you go. You just copy this. Oh, copy nice. this, and then you put that into the promo code bit here. All right. You can always have a discount. All right. So uh, I'm going to round up for charity. Because I'm, I'm um, what do you want to do? Juvenile diabetes, Arizona Humane, or Hope for Haiti? Uh, um, let's 
Go for the first one. Yeah. Just, I, just to be fair. Yeah. Um, All right. Okay. So it's now uh, eight dollars. Good. Continue. Okay. Good. So we've got uh, the details here. All right. We can pay by PayPal. We can pay by credit card. So I'm just gonna place the order. And then we are done. Brilliant. So we've got our domain name now. So what we're going to do now is I'm now going to go to my hosting, uh, and then we're going to set that up. So we've got the, a place for the domain name to go. Right. So my hosting is Web Courses Showcase cPanel, and then I just log in, this and I'm Hostgator. using Hostgator. Uh, yeah. Um, do you use Hostgator? No. No. Oh, you use a Dutch, Dutch one, don't you? Yeah. Mm. All right. So now we've got this. Now I've already got a lot of domains. Now the great thing about Hostgator is that you can buy one hosting, and you can have many domains pointing to it. So this is again another one of many domains. Mm. All right. Twenty six. <laughs> this is my twenty sixth. All right. So now I'm now going to go to Add on domains in my cPanel. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you get to your cPanel just by going to your domain name forward slash cPanel. Mm. Yeah. You can add as many as you want. With yes. Uh, so the charliechaplin.com. Yes. All right. Now I'm just going to pause the video while we get our password sorted. Okay. Right, there we go. And so now I just have to do add on domain. Now the beautiful thing about this is all I have to do now is copy a couple of information to connect my new domain to my hosting. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go to the home page while it's still doing that and move down and you'll see your name servers. Now these are mine servers. So I'm just going to copy that and then go back to GoDaddy. All right. So what I can do now is I'm going to go back to my account and then it will list all the, the domain names that I've got. Yeah. So we want the charliechaplin.com. I've got <laughs> seven pages of, of domain names. Uh, no, not here. So look, the Charlie Chaplin. There it is. And click on there. Right, now, the nice thing about this is all I have to do is name servers, set name servers, and we have two of them. The reason we have two of them is in case one of them breaks down. So I click on here, specific, and then I highlight, delete, and then just from personal experience, I always remember that the next name server is just one number up. So this is 70, mm. like that. Mm. All right, click OK. Now, <clears throat> importantly, it says two hours to 48 hours. It can take 10 minutes. Mm. Now, we're in Thailand, and it can take a little bit longer, <laughs> but we can cheat. We can cheat with the way we do that. So I'm going to go to school, unblock, dot com. All right. And Thailand has banned it. Oh. So we need to find another one. So we're going to do free online proxy. Because we need to pretend that we're somewhere else. So I'm going to just try try these ones. Here we go. Zend. See, if, see how this goes. So www.thecharlie.com. Chaplin.com. Uh. There we go. Perfect. Means it's working. Nice. All right. So we know we've bought it. So it's been registered. Now what we need to do is keep our eye on this page until it turns to a host gator. All right. Which can take a little while. But luckily we've got plenty to do in the meantime. So now we've bought the domain name. We've hooked it up. So we've got it all set up now so the next screencast will be starting to move all the files onto the server nice any questions not yet not yet let's okay. see when it's online cool see you soon right welcome back so now what we're doing now what are we doing now Carl we just uh, bought the, the, the we domain we've, name we've searched the domain name we purchased it Set up the hosting. hosting, connected the domain name to the hosting, mm -hmm. 
So the first thing thing we're gonna do now is upload the WordPress theme. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we first need to get uh, get hold of it. So when you're developing locally, you'll find that it's on here. So I'm just gonna move down to my HD docs. Here we are. And here's the folder for me. Yeah. And that's in my users, my documents, exam, and then in my HD docs file there. So what we need is all this stuff here. Yeah. We're gonna so zip it. We're gonna zip it. Now I'm just gonna do command and A or Control and A and then right click, send to compress folder. Alright. All right. Now luckily this isn't too big, but sometimes you can you know your website can get quite big. Now just as a little point, if you are developing locally, yeah. what I want you to do is, I don't want you to do the permalinks yet. Mm. Now, because they're going to change anyway? Yeah, well, if you, what I've found from personal experience is if you do have the permalinks, for example, it says about, you know, things like that, the actual permalinks is set up, when you put it live and you're changing all the URLs and stuff like that, it goes wrong and you have to turn it off and on again anyway. Mm. So my advice is just leave the permalinks like this for now. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this should hopefully all be working. Now we should have finished the zipping now. So now we need to give it a name. We'll just call it Charlie uh, WordPress. So in this in this instance for this website, as you can see, we're using WordPress. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we did is we chose a theme from Elegant Themes, and then we just added all the information. Didn't you? Yes. Yes, you did. Um, so yeah, it's a nice theme for Elegant Themes. What's the, the name of it? Evolution. Evolution. Should we take a look? Elegant Themes. It's responsive. Yes, most importantly. So if you go to Themes, and we're using this one, Evolution. Yeah. That's right. All right, you can click on there. So we can see we haven't changed too much, just because this is an example. All right, we've changed it to this. So we haven't changed too much. Uh, but like you said, it is responsive, which means if I move this in, like so, changes for iPad and then down to iPhone, like that. Very nice. So a nice way of having a responsive theme. Why did you choose this theme, Kun? It was easy to work with. And yeah. It was clean. It had a slider that I wanted. Yeah. Had some nice short codes and it was responsive that was a big thing yeah. yeah I think all themes should be responsive now anyway yeah. all right so now we've got our zip file here it is okay now just as a little tip I'm gonna copy this part here because I know I'm gonna need it later right so now I need to log in so web courses showcase cpanel All right, and then you log into your hosting, and then what we need to do is go to File Manager, and we need to do the let's have a see the Charlie Chaplin. There he is, and click OK. Now the nice thing about what <clears throat> the cPanel is that you can use the File Manager to upload zip files rather than having to wait for individual ones. All right, so we're going to click Upload, choose. And this is where it comes in really handy. I can just paste where I was before. <laughs> mm. Little little handy <laughs> tip. I don't know if that helps. Click on open. And there we go. So that's going to take a little while. But we've got some time. So what should we do? Should think about the SQL database. We should think about the SQL database. So let's um how do we get how do we get there? Um, PHP my admin. We do indeed. So localhost PHP my admin. Now we created a Charlie directory, uh, sorry, da um, database. Mm -hmm. So you go inside the database and then you just click on export. All right. So it'll give you all these details. You don't need to change this. And if you've got the new version of PHP Madmin, it's very similar. Yeah. And then you just click on go. Now what I do want you to do is don't have any compression on unless it's a really big website. So have save as file. Because if you don't do that, it will just print it out on the screen. What will it compress? Will it compress like pictures? No, this will compress the actual file, the SQL file. It will mm -hmm. lose quality. It will lose quality. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't lose quality, but it it, <clears throat> it does mean that I can't directly edit it. All right. So I'm going to click on Go. There's Charlie. 
and I'll put him on my desktop and there we go so if I now just minimize all this alright so here we go here's the, here's the file and I'm gonna right click and open that now I use notepad plus plus you can use anything you want now the reason I'm doing that is <clears throat> we can very very quickly change things here mm. now what a lot of people do in a lot of themes and, and tutorials tell you to do is upload it and then start doing SQL queries personally I found it much easier just to find you know what you want to change <clears throat> in here and then you can change it so let's have a look for example here this is where it is now yes. but if I do control and C and then I do control and H I can replace it's the same as going to edit and then uh, find and replace right, so it's not under edit, it's under search here so we'll do find next um, well we'll just do find and then you can click on replace so we want to find this <clears throat> and then we're going to replace it with the charlie chaplin dot com like that no double no uh... charlie chaplin dot com there okay. we go. Okay. All right. So we'll do replace all. 314 done. All right. We'll close that now. All right. Now, if I move down, we're just going to give it a quick check. Ooh. What's this? What's this? Charlie Chaplin Evolution. Okay. That's just a uh, recently edited. That's not important for us. All right. We can move down. And just if you see any local host, in fact, I'll do a control and H. Look for local host. Find next. Let's have a seat. Joomla site. Nope. That's fine. Nope. 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 That looks all fine to me. Because this is just in explaining stuff. Mm. So basically, it's done. Correct. All right. Good. Okay. So now we can save that. Right. And you can see that's changed. Now, now the fun part. We're going to go back to our hosting, and you need to look now for MySQL databases click on that and this is in three stages number one is create the database we'll call it Charlie Chaplin or we'll just call it Charlie actually yeah. alright create the database stage one so now we've done that we now need to add a user so I'm gonna call this Charlie and the password will use from the password generator and then we'll do create user so there we go. So I'm going to change that password now. So we can go to Charlie, and then you can also change it. So you can al you can always change the the, the details here. Hmm. All right. So now we've got our user. All right. So we've got the user there. Now what I can do is I can apply that. So Charlie database, and that's going to go on the Charlie website on the Charlie database there. So you create the user, and then you add it to the database. Once you do that, you can then give it permissions. I do all privileges. All right. So you can change this later. You can optimize this later. Mm. So make change. And there we go. We've got our details. And normally what I do is I copy this and put it somewhere so I can copy and paste it later. Great. Go back. So that's all done now. So I can go back and we can upload the database. So back now and we're looking for PHP my admin. And what do I do next? Get the <coughs> database file uploaded. So you're uploading the SQL now? Well, first I need to select Charlie. All right. Yeah. And then you then you can do that. So choose file desktop and then somewhere in this mess will be Charlie. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Great, and then I can click on go. Now we should see once this is done, we'll see about you know a couple of tables created and things like that. And you'll see them on the left hand side. Okay. All right. Now once that's done, normally what I like to do is go to the options and just double check that this here says the right thing. The site URL is a very important part right, of it. Yeah. yeah? Um, oh, blog description. We can change that a little bit later, mm. but that's very important. So let's check on our file now see how we're doing and 9.1 megabytes completed brilliant alright 
great. So now we can go back to file manager, and if I refresh this, ta da, da da. What do we do next? Let's see. Well, check it out. If it's working. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. we, we could check it out. That might be a bit early because we haven't unzipped it yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's All right, so right-click, and we'll do Extract, and then make sure it's in the right place. Now, the important thing is, is when we zipped it up, we zipped the, fo the files, not the folder, which means that when this is now inflated, and I refresh, all the files are in the right place. If you, file, if you do the, uh, the folder, you'll just have Charlie here, and then you have to still move everything out. Uh, yeah. yeah? So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to delete Charlie. Bye Charlie. And then we're going to go to the config file. So look for WP config. Right click and edit. Why are we editing this gun? Because it gives us all the information about the user and the password and the database name. Yep, and that's what we need to do. And where do we get the database name from? Uh, from this file, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it's also what we created early, earlier. Yeah, yeah. here. It was the same All right. Way. So for us, it's Carl sixty eight underscore. Ah, okay. Username is the same actually. Just to keep life simple. And then the password, we'll put that in in just a moment. All right. So once you've done that, all you have to do is click on save, and then you're done. So now that we've saved that, we're getting close. All right. Now, if we're really lucky, the Charlie Chaplin dot com will be available and showing us. Ta da! Hey, Brilliant. Cool. Yeah. All right. Now, in true um, style, lots of things don't work straight away. So it's very, very important once you've moved a website live then you, you double check it and first of all you do a hard refresh um, by doing control and F5 so it's still not working, this, this thing here is not working so we're going to log in now now one thing that's important is um, when you're developing a local one you tend to have a really crappy username for it so we did admin and then we add the date for the password so that's too easy so one of the first things you want to do is users add new and I mean the first thing don't wait oh I'll do it later so I'm gonna do my user there we go web course is Bangkok and then our password and I'm gonna make myself an admin and then add user now again first thing you do is you log out and then you log in as your, as your new self Delete the admin. And then you delete the admin. You can't delete the admin because you're logged in as the admin. Right. Yeah. You can't, can't delete yourself. Yeah. All right. So delete him. And then attribute to him. Da, 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 da. So I've just stole all your hard work, Con. How <laughs> Thanks, do you feel about man. that? Sorry about that. I'll mate. take it back later. <laughs> <laughs> you can delete me and attribute yeah. it to you. That's fine. Okay, good. So let's have a look now. I'm going to visit the site and then we're going to then have a look at the things that are wrong and gradually go through it. All right. So hey, there we go. That's nice. So we've just moved a website from here, localhost, and then we uh, bought the domain. We added it to our hosting. We created the database, we moved the files, we changed the config, and then we were live. That's and that, very nice. Thank you, Ted. Mm. <laughs> All right, so that's how you put a website live. Great. How happy are you, Con? Very happy that it's done now. <laughs> right, so now what we need to do in the next screencast is uh, getting all the stuff ready for search engines and Google and stuff like that. All right, thanks, Con. No worries. Bye. <laughs>
we go to the website front end, if I go to say the biography, it says page ID equals 21. Yes. Not so pretty. All right, so we're going to go back to dashboard, settings, and then permalinks. The setting I like to use is category and then name. So you do this one. So it's forward slash percentage sign category percentage sign forward slash post name and you'll see what that becomes in a minute so I'm just going to save that alright and then if I go back here and I click on biography it now instantly changes or maybe filmography it now changes to filmography biography uh, these are pages if we go to media this is a category and then on here I can go into the individual one into movie the barber and couldn't you've already got this ready for a nice video and we can have a quick look alright and we can see we're in media and then movie barber brilliant Great. yeah good old Charlie yes he's a, he's a classic good isn't he black and white he's Charlie. a classic over there ouch so Seeing as this is so good, we need to tell Google about it. So I'm going to go back, back here. I'm just going to close that down for now, and then we're going to go to plugins, add new. Now I'm actually surprised they don't include this with Google, with uh, with WordPress because it's used so much. Hmm. Google XML. Don't some teams have it ready? I think some do. I haven't seen one yet. Hmm. Maybe some do. Now this is the one that we want. Now you can always see five stars, fair play, but you don't know if it's really, really good. So what we're going to do is put our mouse over and see that 2,818 people. Is that a lot? That's a lot. All right. Yeah. So we're going to install now and click OK. I mean, think about it. How many times have you voted? Never. <laughs> Never. So 2,000 people have actually taken the... And they really like it. They really, really like, like it. it yeah. So activate the plugin. Now we can see under settings XML sitemap. So we can click on that. And then we have to generate it. So we click on right. generate. Takes a little while. Don't have to look into the options? Nope. All these are fine for now. Yeah. You can start to uh um change these as your website progresses, but we're just the, the right. default settings for this screencast. All right. So now if I go to visit the site in a new tab and I do forward slash sitemap dot xml this is what we need to tell Google about aha uh -huh. uh -huh. so we're going to copy this new tab control and T and Google web master tools alright let me click on there now what we need to do now is log in okay so now once you've logged in you'll see um, all the other websites that um, I've got on my system so we need to add a new one so we're going to click on add site and I'm just going to put uh, www.thecharliechaplin.com and then continue now the thing is we need to prove how we own the website so how do you want to do it? how do we prove that it has to do something with your hosting company? It can be, yeah. You can upload a file. All right. right. Or, alternate method, you can change DNS. Ugh. Google Analytics, we don't have yet. So the one I like to do is this one. Add a meta tag. All right. Yeah. You put that in your code. Yeah. And wh how do I do that? I think you would go to the editor. Yeah. Where's that? Uh, that's in appearance. No. Um... Oh, yes. yes. It is appearance. No, editor. And where am I putting it? I guess in the header or the footer. In the header? Well, it's a meta tag, so it belongs in the header. Right. So you can put it anywhere you want, but just for simplicity, I'm just going to put it here. And we'll tab that over. And then update file. All right. Now, what that's done is on every single page has now got this meta tag. All right. All right. So if I actually go to the website. Just delete that for now. This is probably the easiest way to. Uh, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. So ro right click, view page source, and there we are. All right. All right. Good. So if we go back to Webmaster Tools now and verify, we should get a nice tick. 
Okay. Okay. And that's the kind of tick we like, not the one that sucks your blood. <laughs> All right. So click on continue, and then we can now submit our site map. So we've got no details here just yet, but we submit a site map. Submit the site map and do sitemap.xml. Congratulations, you've just told the whole of the world about your website. Nice. Now it takes a little while, and it'll definitely take a little while for you to pop up in Google. And then through online marketing, that's how you get um, higher. Now, what we need to do is find out how people are finding us and where they're coming from. So we're now going to go to Google Analytics. Right, click on there. Access analytics. There we go. So again, all, all these are uh, previous projects. So I'm just going to add another one. So I'm going to go to Charlie and enter. Now, if you want to make a, a new one here, you do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right hand corner. This is the new version, and I'm going to put it under my projects, new web property, and then it's just uh, Charlie Chaplin website example www. the Charlie Chaplin. com. Right. Now we're in Thailand. All right, and then create property. Now what it's going to give us is the details so now we need to go into there and then find out the the code that we're going to put in so if I click on tracking code and it will generate this for us and we copy and paste where do we put it good question is it in the header again it is it could be in the header yeah I mean it tells you um, before the the closing head tag so we can do that but normally what they have is in the theme if I go back here and go to the theme options normally themes have a place where you can put it alright All right. so I'm just gonna move down to SEO okay alright and we can put it on the home page meta description if we want but if I click on integration for this one anyway add code to the head tag or add code to the um, different places on on wherever you want it to go I'm gonna put it here alright so save back to webmaster tools and then save so I'm back on Google Analytics and what does this script do? it will track all the information about your visitors and stuff yeah, like where that. they come from, how they found you, how long they stayed where did they go, what system they're using, what language they're using all these kind of things so now we've got that we can go back to the profile and you can see see all the details here. You can set up custom alerts so if lots and lots of people come to your website, all of a sudden you can find out. All right. So if we go back to profiles, oh, sorry, by clicking on home, you then get this the dashboard. All right. All right. So this will take a day at least to start tracking, but that's how we did it. So we'll just refresh. If I go back to um, the main one. So we went to Cal's projects, we added a new one. When we did that, we went to the settings and we went into get the code and then we put that into the actual head tag. I mean, you can go to editor and then put it into header yourself. Yes. Or you can just let your theme do it. All right. All right. So There we are. Charlie Chaplin is live. All right. Yeah. So how do we bring people to it? Um, well, I think now by adding it to Google should help a little bit. But yeah. Maybe we can promote it a little bit. Got fan pages, tweets, Twitter. All right. You know, find. You know, maybe we can find some uh, Charlie Chaplin blogs. All right. Uh, oh, Charlie Chaplin, the official website. Our main competitor. Yes. How dare you? <laughs> All right. So you can buy books here and stuff like that. Um, and if they could link to us, that would be lovely. I'm not sure they would though. But you just take part in the community and uh, submit it. And one thing you can do is, if you do um, submit 
CSS galleries. This is one quick way of, of getting some links. I use this one here. Um, the CSS gallery list.com. You can actually pay to be listed on all these. All right. Yeah, so you just put in and the details. Are valuable links? Yeah, and they get, can get some good links. And that's when you end up on, you know, CSS galleries like, uh, we'll try CSS Mania. And then, because we're proud web designers, we want to show off our work. We, what we want to do is just submit it to all those galleries. And it's just one way of kicking, kicking Google and saying, look, this is really good for us. And you can get listed on here. All right. So, congratulations, you just put a website live, Kun. Thank you. Thank you. And if you've got any questions about our courses or you want to learn how to do this yourself, just go to www.webcoursesbangkok.com. Thanks. Bye. Hello. And today we're going to be uh, taking a website that's local and we're going to be putting it live, which means uh, buying a domain name, getting some hosting, and doing all sorts of other things to put it live. How many stages are we looking at, Kun? I thought there were about 12, oh no, 16? 16. 16, 16, 16 stages, stages we're going to go through. So the first one then is search for a domain name. Where do you think we should go? Instant domain search. Instant domain search. It's why do we go? Favorite. Why do we go here? Uh, it's my favorite because they like, give solutions for .com, .net. And it's quick as well, isn't it? Yeah. There's many others, but this is this is one we're used to. So we're doing a website. Let's first of all show you the website we're going around. So actually, can can you tell us about about it? You made it. Uh, it's a it's a website about Charlie Chaplin. It's selling products about him. Right. Books, DVDs. Has a little bit of a biography, a filmography. So it's it's like a like a web shop. Site. Okay. A bit like affiliate marketing, huh? Because you yeah, you so. you click and you go to the the shop. And then from here, you can buy now and go to Amazon. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. All right. So um, yeah, essentially what we need to do is we've built this live on our. Uh, sorry, we've built this on our computers, so it's nice and quick. And now we need to get from here to a website. So let's search for a domain name now. So what do you think? I thought Charlie Chaplin Shop. Charlie Chaplin that Shop. Available. That's available. Yeah. Um, yeah, that might be a good one. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what we'll do is I'll show you I'll show you something else. We can go to who dot is. All right, and then here we can go to suggestion. Oh, give us a bit of feedback there. All right, we can go to suggestions, and then down here we can do Charlie Chaplin, and we can see what's see what's available. We'll get domain suggestions, and then move down. We've got Charlie filmmaker, the Charlie Chaplin. Oh, that's nice. That's not bad, is it? All right, TCC for the people who know it. Uh, Charlie Comic, Charlie Filmmaker, My Charlie Chaplin, mm -hmm. uh, Charlie Comedian. I prefer a dot com. Yeah, I'm a I'm a dot com as well. Um, Charlie Film Producer, Your Hop Link. Not all of them are so great and relevant, <laughs> but nevertheless. So I think we're going to go for this one then, Charlie, um, the, Charlie. the Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, that sounds that's like a one. great idea. All right, so the Charlie. Chaplin, and there we go. All right. So the Charlie Chaplin, and there we go. We've got dot com available. So uh, I've got an account with GoDaddy. Right. I'm not recommending them. It's just <laughs> that for years I've used them. Um, but GoDaddy, they tend to be cheap, and the important thing for us is they're quick, uh, and we really want to be able to put this live today. So when you are doing a website, I always advise you to, you know, when you built it is buy the domain name first and then start all the process of moving it mm -hmm. and that means you give the domain name time to, to, to propagate mm. all right so I'm gonna just gonna log in yeah that all right so the Charlie Chaplin will add that and it's gonna moan that I've got six domain names um, ready to expire and that's because I've got an addiction to buying domain names and not doing anything with them. <laughs> Which I'm sure you have as well, listeners. Right, so we've got our details here. So we'll just put in uh, details. Click next. Uh, we're going to get it just for one year. Alright, next. 
So I'm sure there's some people thinking, in a year, I can buy that domain. <laughs> Alright, so we just click next. We don't need any of this extra stuff if you're buying from GoDaddy. Um, these ones here, I'm, I don't want to renew right now. We'll uh, look at that another time. So we just want to buy this one domain name. Now we've got a discount on there because we used instant domain search. Mm. All right. Or alternatively, you can just do a search for GoDaddy promo codes. Mm -hmm. Click here, and then all you have to do is copy. Um, let's have a see renewals. There you go. You just copy this. Oh, copy nice. this, and then you put that into the promo code bit here. All right. You can always have a discount. All right. So uh, I'm going to round up for charity. Because I'm, I'm um, what do you want to do? Juvenile diabetes, Arizona humane, or hope for high tea? Um, let's go for the first one. Yeah. Just, I, just to be fair. Yeah. All right. Okay. So it's now uh, eight dollars. Good. Continue. Okay. Good. So we've got uh, the details here. All right. We can pay by PayPal. We can pay by credit card. So I'm just going to place the order. And then we are done. Brilliant. So we've got our domain name now. Right. So what we're going to do now is I'm now going to go to my hosting, uh, and then we're going to set that up. So we've got the, a place for the domain name to go. Right. So my hosting is Web Courses Showcase cPanel, and then I just log in, this and I'm Hostgator. using Hostgator. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, do you use Hostgator? No. No. Oh, you use a Dutch, Dutch one, don't you? Yeah. Mm. All right. So now we've got this. Now I've already got a lot of domains. Now the great thing about Hostgator is that you can buy one hosting and you can have many domains pointing to it. So this is again another one of many domains. Mm. All right. But twenty-six. <laughs> this is my twenty-sixth. All right. So I'm now I'm going to go to Add-on Domains in my cPanel. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you get to your cPanel just by going to your domain name forward slash cpanel. Hmm. Yeah. You can add as many as you want. With yes. Them. So the charliechaplin.com. Yes. All right. Now I'm just going to pause the video while we get our password sorted. Okay. Right, there we go. And so now I just have to do add on domain. Now the beautiful thing about this is all I have to do now is copy a couple of information to connect my new domain to my hosting. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go to the home page while it's still doing that and move down and you'll see your name servers. Now these are mine servers so I'm just going to copy that and then go back to GoDaddy. Alright so what I can do now is I'm going to go back to my account and then it will list all the, the domain names that I've got. Yeah. So we want the charliechaplin.com I've got <laughs> Seven pages of, of domain names. Uh, no, not here. So look, the Charlie yeah. Chaplin. There it is. And click on there. Right, now, the nice thing about this is all I have to do is name servers, set name servers, and we have two of them. The reason we have two of them is in case one of them breaks down. So I click on here, specific, and then I highlight delete and then just from purse experience I always remember that the next name server is just one number up so this is 70 mm. like that mm. all right click OK now <clears throat> importantly it says two hours to 48 hours it can take 10 minutes mm. now we're in Thailand and it can take a little bit longer <laughs> but we can cheat we can cheat with the way we do that so I'm going to go to school unblock dot com all right and Thailand has banned it oh. so we need to find another one so we're gonna do free online proxy because we need to pretend that we're somewhere else I'm gonna just try try these ones here we go Zend see if see how this goes so www dot the Charlie Chaplin dot com uh. There we go. Perfect. Means it's working. Nice. 
All right, so we know we've bought it, so it's been registered. Now what we need to do is keep our eye on this page until it turns to a host gator, all right, which can take a little while. But luckily, we've got plenty to do in the meantime. So now we've bought the domain name, we've hooked it up, so we've got it all set up now. Mm. So the next screencast will be starting to move all the files onto the server. Nice. Any questions? Not yet. Not yet. Let's okay. see when it's online. Cool. See you soon.